Alright, so I was able to go first. We're just going to jump right into it. This is a deck I put together called Fire and Ice. Uh, I risked it for the Biscuit and just led with the Vulpix. Uh, I did get the double turbo energy, which is going to help and allow it to attack the next round, but uh, it's still pretty vulnerable. Uh, it's only got 190 health, but uh, hopefully if the my opponent here has any Pokemon that have abilities, which this one does not. So the strength of this Vulpix is that it has an attack once it's evolved called Snow Mirage. And if that Pokemon has an ability, then it cannot attack the Vulpix, so it gives it immunity. Oh, that was a really good draw. So now we have our evolved Vulpix. We're going to be able to attack. We're going to be able to knock that card out. That was that was a really good draw. We might have a chance because a Garchomp's coming. It's not going to have an ability. So this Vulpix is going to be very, very vulnerable. Um, the Pidgey's out. So maybe next round hopefully I can get it evolved basic energy that's not really any help but the light at the end of the tunnel is that Vulpix can now it's now immune from any uh, attack from a Pokemon that has an ability all right so it looks like uh, my opponent was uh, just really getting his cards out he he did uh, do an Ultra Ball, so I know that that Garchomp is there. Um, let's see if we can't get to this, get this Pidgey evolved, which will help us with our card draw. Because right now things are not looking good. Uh, we were really kind of banking on my opponent having a deck full of cards with abilities, and then having this Vulpix kind of, kind of clean house, and it is not happening. So let's uh, let's get this Pidgey evolved and and kind of see where we can go from here. It's it's not it's not looking good, but maybe we could pull it out. I mean, you never know. Yep. There we go. Let's go ahead and evolve him. Do our quick search. Went and got a rare candy so we can set up to evolve our Charmander, Charmander on the uh, our next round here. But we are going to be able to knock this guy out with this using our Snow Mirage. But he's still got another uh, another way to uh, to get to that Garchomp, and I think once that Garchomp comes out, it's it's going to be all over. Um, because the Garchomp does not have an ability, which means the immunity for the Vulpix is not going to work. We are leading on prize cards, though. And we do have a boss's orders. So, let's see how this round goes. And then we will probably be able to boss's orders and get that, um, I think it's a Lumion. It's only 170, so... If this works out right, we could get our Charmander evolved. There's the Garchomp. This is... Okay. Alright. And it doesn't have an ability, which means that Vulpix is, is vulnerable. 320 health. Oh my goodness. Ah. Uh, now it's getting real. We, we still lean on the prize cards. And if we can get that Charmander... Uh, evolved into that Charizard and we can boss's order is that Lumina, Lumion we could get way ahead on the prize cards yeah yeah we just took a hit there all right let's see if our strategy is gonna work do our quick search There's the Charizard. All right, so now we're going to be able to uh, evolve the Charmander with the rare candy. So that's a positive for us. Now, I think we've got a chance. I think we, we know that the Vulpix is not going to get it done. Um, 
but we've got another attacker here uh, with the Charizard. Now we're going to put the fire energy on the Vulpix because the Vulpix retreat is only one or one energy. So this will kind of let us retreat that, that Vulpix. Um, yep, coming with the Lumion. And then we can retreat our Vulpix. And this is going to work. So we're going to be able to get two additional prize cards. So we're we're way ahead on the prize cards. Uh, that's going to give us an advantage because he may not be able to, our opponent may not be able to to get to get going here because we have two bosses' orders still left, and as long as we can get them out with that quick search. I think we got this game. I I see an end strategy. Oh my goodness! In the beginning, I was like, "There is no way." None of these uh, cards that we're going against have abilities. We were definitely banking on the uh, Vulpix, the immunity of the Vulpix. There. I think we got this. Let's see how this plays out. But we're gonna be able to uh, boss his orders those two so we're going to be able to boss his orders his those basic cards that he has that yeah so that radiant greninja you're definitely on my list here we're going to try and get you because that'll minimize his ability to get some disruptor cards when he realizes what's going on okay okay all right we got a shot we got a real shot at this. Oh, switch. That's perfect. But we want that boss's orders. And there it is. Definitely going to do the Greninja. That way he can't, can't fish for a lucky card or something that could put things his way. But I don't, I don't think we're, I don't think we're in any trouble here. We're going to save the Charizard because it's a little bit heavy hitter. So if that Vulpix has to go, we'll let it go. Okay. Starmie, welcome to the party. Oh my goodness, I think we're going to pull this out. Let's see what happens. Hopefully, won't be a lot of disruptors coming out. But we definitely have a plan. We definitely have a strategy right now. Up. Oh. oh boy. He gets six cards, I get one. Uh, that was no help. But I don't think it's going to matter. I don't think it's going to matter. Uh-oh. we got to choose wisely here. Let's, let's just give him the Charmander. We'll sacrifice that Charmander. Because we don't have any cards to evolve him anymore. So he can go. But what's his plan here? Could he boss his orders? The Vulpix? Or the Charizard? Oh, I'm, I thought we had this, but now I'm not so sure. If he attacks the Charmander, then we got this. Another Ultra Ball. What is what is going on? I, I feel like... Hopefully he's just thrashing in the water, right? He realizes what's about to happen. Because... Oh... That's it. We won. We won. We got this. We're going to be able to boss his orders to one of the basics. I cannot believe we pulled this off. I cannot believe we pulled this off. I gave us zero shot. I thought we were in for a beatdown in the beginning. We're going to get this boss's orders here. Probably going to concede. I don't, I don't see him allowing us to do this. Yep, he knows it's over. And he conceded. Oh my goodness. Whoo, I did not. Uh, this is a shocker. Oh my goodness. There you go. Always play it to the end.